guys, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here and you don't know already, my name is Tara. So today we're just gonna do a super chill, laid back kind of makeup hair unboxing. Um, I have probably, sadly, like probably a thousand dollars worth of makeup and hair and skincare products here from Ulta, Arctic Fox, Milani, um, Sephora. So yeah, let's just jump right into it. So I feel like I'm gonna get knocked out by one of these boxes. Like, oh my God, there's just boxes everywhere. You should see my floor in front of me. It's like literally packaging shit everywhere. First up, we're gonna go into this box from Milani. I have these two Make It Dewy Deluxe Setting Sprays. Um, I believe it was like spend so much and you get a free setting spray and that was like spend so much and then you get like this little guy here. I don't know how I ended up with two of these. I don't know if they accidentally sent me two of these. I don't, I don't know what happened. So the other free little duo that I got is the Make It Last Milani Setting Spray. The other free thing that I got for, I think it was like over $40, um, is the Milani Luminoso Baked Blush. And this is what it looks like. I love Milani's baked blushes. Like they're so freaking nice. I am super excited about this. I don't own this shade, so yeah, it's pretty freaking awesome. This Milani Silky Matte Bronzing Powder in Sunlight. First off, look at that pattern. It is so freaking beautiful. This is like the perfect bronzer shade for me. I am so excited to use this. It feels so nice. I love Milani face products. This is like the perfect tone for me. I'm really, really, really excited about that. Then I picked up the Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation Stick. This is in the shade 200 Porcelain. I swatched this when I got it, and I can already tell you that it's going to be a little pink for me, but I'm really excited to try this out because I've heard really good things about it and then i also picked up the milani conceal and perfect Longwear concealer this is in the shade 100 pure ivory i think i picked it's so hard to pick shades online i think i picked a good concealer shade this feels so nice i'm super excited to try it out and then i picked up two of the new milani hypnotic lights oh no one of them this is the new milani hypnotic lights holographic eye topper this is in the shade Electric Forest. And then I picked up um, one of the Milani Metallic Lights Pearl Liquid Eyeshadows. And this is in the shade Antique Gem. I've heard nothing but good things about these. There's like a few swatches. We got a box here from Sephora. Let's just throw this one. Oh, this is one of the smaller ones. So this is just like the, I got a few perfume samples. And then I got a sample of the Urban Decay Brow Endowered Brow Volumizing Primer and Color. I hate when you buy like a large order from Sephora and then they ship it. They like ship all the items except for one in one box and then like one item in another box. And then on top of that, Ulta does the same damn thing. And you're going to see I'm kind of mad about something Ulta did. Then this is the Beauty Blender Redo Set and Refresh new setting spray. I saw Tati use this, so I had to have it. It has two caps, which I find kind of weird. Like you take the one cap off and you have another cap. I don't get that. But the mister on this, you guys, look at this. Oh, it's so nice. Like it's so refreshing. I don't have any makeup on, but that just, it feels so darn good. I'm so excited to see how this is on makeup. And <clears throat> then I have a package from Perfectly Posh here. If you guys have not seen my review on Perfectly Posh, then I'll link it in the cards up there. I have a consultant that I go through and I really like some of their products. So this is the Beach Hair Don't Care Every Day is a Beach Day. Um, it's like a texturizing spray. I have been having such a hard time finding an affordable texturizing spray for my hair. My hair is just like flat, 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 flat 
Oh, I like the way that sprays already. Mm, that smells really darn good. I have the Perfectly Posh Well Adjusted Deep Clarifying Deep Cleanser Balancing Toner. I love their skincare. This one is vegan. And this one is also vegan. This is a product I'm super excited about. It's the Perfectly Posh Just Chilling Giant Cooling Skin Stick. So it's basically like a an icy hot but it doesn't get hot. It stays cool. And I have... It smells so good. I have fibromyalgia and I just feel like this is going to be so nice. Oh, it feels so good. So if you don't know what fibromyalgia is, it's a nerve condition. So like I get widespread pain. It basically feels like, you know, when you have a bruise when you're younger and someone like pushes on it, it basically feels like that all the time. This feels really, really nice. Ooh, I'm excited. I get them like I get my flare ups really bad on my legs, on like my thighs and stuff. So yeah, I'm really excited to try that out when I have a flare up. Then I got the Ice Queen Purifying Gentle Peel Off Face Mask. I wonder what color this is. So I'm assuming this was part of their like Christmas line. I may be mistaken though. Oh, it's like an ice blue. It smells so freaking good. Then I got the Tea Tree and Neem Stare at My Hair Stimulating and Deep Cleansing Hair and Scalp Mask. And you know, I say all the gosh darn time that I have the worst dandruff that you've probably ever would see in your entire life. I can never find good hair masks and finding a salon where I live that does um, scalp treatments is non-existent. Like I've tried with every single, that smells good actually. I've tried like every single one of them and they, they, none of them do it. So yeah, I'm excited to try this out and see how it works not only on my scalp, but also on my hair since I'm like coloring my hair and bleaching it now all the time. I'm really, really excited. Kind of smells like mint chocolate chip, which I don't hate. And then the last thing I got from them was this Soul Sister Charcoal Detox and Cooling Clay Foot Mask with Tingling Tree Tea and Peppermint Essential Oils. It's just basically a foot mask, which I definitely need this. Also smells really good. All their products smell really, really good. This one doesn't seem to be vegan. This one is vegan. This one is not vegan. And the cooling stick is not vegan. I have the worst feet because I work on my feet all the time. So I'm excited to try this and see if it helps with any of my calluses and dryness. Box, right? Let's go to this. Oh, this was the one I was really mad about. So I got sent this entire huge box, right? See how big this box is? This was the only item in this gosh darn box. Like, are you kidding me? Come on now, Ulta. So this is the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. But yeah, I've been hearing a lot of good things. This is the shade Fair Beige. Wow, that is very, very light. Holy Toledo Batman. Ooh, it feels really nice though. There is a swatch of that. That is very, very light. We'll just stay with Ulta, I guess. I'm probably gonna have to put this box on the floor and reach down. So the first product I picked up from Ulta besides that concealer is the e.l.f. Hello Hydration Face Cream with Hyaluronic hyaluronic acid and peptide complex you stupid stickers i've been trying to try out a lot more affordable skincare so i can like try it out for you guys and let you guys know what is the tea and what is the shade i guess love the packaging it feels super luxurious even though it's elf i always love elf's classic packaging oh that seems really nice it smells so freaking good I shouldn't have dipped my fingers in there. I hate dipping my fingers in pots, but I just had to feel how it feels. Ooh, that feels so nice, you guys. I, I just gotta put some on my face because I don't have any moisturizer on right now. I know, I, should, I shouldn't I uh, should stick my fingers in. I have no mirror. I don't have a fancy monitor like all these other beauty goo boos do. Booty gurus do. Ooh. That feels so good. Super hydrating without being super thick because thick moisturizers, even with my dry skin, never work for me. Oh yeah, that's right. Nest. 
I love their perfume, Ness Perfumes. They just released a whole line of lip balms, and I love lip balms. Like, I'm a lip balm junkie. So I picked up one of the ones in Grapefruit and Verbena, I think, and it has SPF 15 in it. Oh, I love the packaging. It's so cute. Oh, that smells really good. I'll put some lip balm on. Mmm. Fair warned, I uh, or fair warned, I bought a lot of lip balms. That feels really, really nice on the lips. I'm super excited to keep trying this. It says that it is a natural grapefruit and orange flower oils, and it's a hydrating lip balm. It's free from parabens, sulfate, sulfates, phthalates, phthalates mineral oil, synthetic colors, and formaldehyde. I picked up the dose of colors. I sorry, I know this is kind of like. I'm kind of old to the whole thing with um, this. This is the highlighter and bathe. I don't know, I just never picked it up and I kept looking at it, kept looking at it, kept looking at it. Look at how pretty that color is. I feel like it might be a little too dark for me. Like swatching it, it looks like it might be a little bit too dark. Like this looks like it's gonna be a little bit too dark. But you know how sometimes with highlighters they swatch one way but like look at it blend blend it out it's really really pretty i love the packaging i think it is so stinking cute i live like four hours from an ulta trying to return things to ulta online is impossible they make you pay for shipping it's like literally impossible next up i have this touch and soul nor no pore bloom priming water so you guys are probably familiar with the no pore bloom uh pore filling primer this is their water one and i was super intrigued by this i actually love their original one but i'm super intrigued by this because it's more of like a multi-oil actually it says multi-oil in the back doesn't it it's it's more of like an oil a priming oil like and it has like this really cool um tip on it and i am all about it i actually really like touch and soul as a brand i think they're really really awesome oh that feels really nice i could see this being so nice under makeup this is the ink stamp and where I kind of, or the vamp stamp, this is what it looks like, by the way. But I was more interested in the actual vamp stamp product itself. So it comes with like a little wing on it and then you stamp it into the product and then you create a wing and then you use, you know, either their little brush and their product to fill in the rest of your wing or a gel eyeliner or a liquid eyeliner or whatever it may be. I got these, I think this is the kitten. This was the one for hooded eyes that is the smaller one. Yeah, like, see, look at the picture. That's what you're supposed to do. I struggle with a wing so bad because I have hooded eyes. I picked up the Anastasia Beverly Hills Sultry Palette. I saw that it went on sale for $27, which I knew it was going to go on sale eventually because it was a limited edition palette and all their palettes, whoop, I've been staring at this for a while. I was debating on this palette and the Milani Soft and Sultry palette. Well, then I bought the Milani Soft and Sultry palette and that ended up in a fail. If you haven't seen that, I'll link that video in the, in the cards above. That ended up being a fail for me. I was actually thinking of getting the Urban Decay Reloaded palette and then they went on sale with this one. And I think they were kind of smart going on sale with this one because they put it on sale uh, on Ulta, their site, and um, on Sephora, like days before the new Urban, Urban Decay Reloaded palette came out. If I don't like it, then I'll just pass it on to somebody. All right, next up from Ulta is the Dose of Colors Friendcation Desi and Katie palette. This is another one that I'm late to the game on. A lot of these are things that I was late to the game on. I've heard so many people rave about this. And when it went on sale, I believe it was dur during 21 Days of Beauty for Ulta, it went on sale. I should have picked it up because I've been eyeing this for so freaking long. If you look at it, the mattes are just like normal neutral mattes. But like these shimmers is what makes this palette so special like look at those they are so freaking oh my god they're so stunning i love dose of colors eyeshadows so much i wanted to pick up the block party 
shadows so much but they're so expensive and this is like the closest thing you're gonna get to those shadows all right so next up i have the catrice volumizing lip balm and this is in the shade graceful lips it kind of looks like a sheer um lipstick but it's actually a lip balm and again like i said i am um, i'm addicted oh it kind of smells nice too i'm addicted to lip balms then i picked up the pacifica alignment clean foundation 100 percent vegan and cruelty free this is the shade warm light this um packaging is so weird it's like so sleek and thin which i kind of like but i opened it to see if it was like a doe foot or a pump what the fuck is this this is going to be so messy. I'm not super happy with, ugh. I'm not super happy with the shade. It makes such a mess already. Um, it seems like it's going to be a little too dark for me, but I might be able to make it work. I don't know. I might be able to. It does seem like it's going to be super hydrating on the skin, so we'll see. I've heard good things and bad things about this foundation, so we'll see how that goes. The last two products from Ulta are two eyeliners from Dolce of Colors. One shade, they're both browns. Um, these are the new eyeliners that Dolce of Colors released. They're pencil eyeliners, first of all. Love the packaging. Super sleek, super nice. This is the shade Unlocked, Unbox. It's like a warm brown, which I love warm brown eyeliners. I think brown eyeliner is so underrated. I love brown eyeliner. And then I got the shade sketch is that what it is is that the name of it yeah sketch and this is a deep brown so this is that deep cool tone brown so i got a warm tone brown and a cool tone brown retractable which is really really nice and they're decently priced for it being dose of colors because a lot of these indie brands price their eyeliners pretty high <clears throat> so next up we have Arctic Fox. I picked up the Arctic Fox tint brush. This is the rainbow pack and 15% of the profits get donated to animal shelters. If you know Kristen Lee Ann on YouTube, she is the creator, founder, CEO of Arctic Fox. And she is like an animal lover. She owns a lot of animals. She does a lot for the animal community. She rescues a lot of animals, which I think is freaking awesome. So this is all of the different rainbow brushes. These are really nice, actually. These are better than the ones I got in hair school. Like These are really, really nice. Everything smells so good from, like, inside the box. You would think like it's hair dye wise, it smells good, but it smells good. I picked up the four ounce Neverland semi permanent hair color, so it's like a mint green. I picked up the Periwinkle semi permanent hair color, the four ounce. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, my Instagram is Puffy Paws Tara, just like my Twitter, all my other social media. And I did a poll on Instagram what color I should do my hair next. And these colors, one, I'm going to do a split dye type of thing. So one side is going to be Neverland and one side is going to be Periwinkle. Super excited about it. Like I'm already, I love my pink hair, but I'm already over it. Like I'm ready to go to another color. I love Arctic Fox because they're cruelty free and they're vegan. And the majority of their products, when you buy them, a percentage gets donated to the animal shelters and rescue animal rescue so that's pretty freaking awesome and then i got two of two other colors i got the eight ounce semi-permanent color in pour orange which this is a neon color these are more like pastel colors these smaller ones and then i got the eight ounce in neon moon or yeah neon moon which is like a neon yellow so a neon yellow and a neon orange mm, last box Dun, dun, dun. So the first thing I have here is the Kat Von D Center Perfume. I know Kat Von D is a thousand percent canceled, but 
I can't deny that her brow pomade is fucking amazing and her perfumes smell fucking amazing. I have been getting deluxe samples of this perfume for so long and I finally splurged. I also love the um, Saint perfume. It feels really nice, but I would have thought this would have been a lot bigger to be honest with you. Oh, it smells so fucking good. I love the smell of this. I get compliments every time I use it. And it's very different from the kind of notes that I normally like. Like I normally like very citrusy. Like this is very like nighttime. Saint is definitely a, a smell, a scent that I would love more normally, but I love Sinner so much. Like I just, I don't know. I just gravitate towards the smell so, so much. I love it. Then I picked up the Drunk Elephant Mini Duo in Rise and Glow. And this has the sea serum and the, which is this one, and then also has the Dehydra Intensive Hydration Serum. So this is the vitamin C serum. I was going to buy the full size of both of them, but this expires in six months. And I never, ever, ever end up using a full like the full thing of the full size of these before they expire because my skin just cannot handle that much vitamin C and I have so many of these little guys already in my collection that I I really didn't need to buy a full size of this this is such a great lightweight moisturizer for underneath makeup like it is so freaking nice and then this is a really good vitamin C. This is the only vitamin C, and I've tried the Ordinary. I've tried all of the other ones. This is the only vitamin C where I've actually seen a difference, and I like it, and my skin doesn't react weird. So, yeah, I really like these little duos. Then I picked up the Pharmacy Freshen Up All Natural Deodorant Stick, and I... I'm so excited about this. I love trying new cruelty-free all-natural deodorants. This one is super cooling. Ooh, I like this. Smells really freaking good. I love anything that smells like mint. It says that it is with moringa and papaya. And I also love about pharmacy is that they don't have like all this bulky packaging. They just come like this. Like I even have... I picked up a, um, cause I just ran out of my lip balm by them, which is an amazing lip balm. So I picked up a new one and this is how it comes. Like it doesn't come with all this crazy packaging, which I really appreciate to be honest with you. So like I just said, I picked up a new pharmacy honey butter beeswax lip balm, hundred percent natural. Um, pharmacy beauty is hundred percent clean beauty. I'm just going to add some more lip balm on. Lip balm. While we're on the kicks of lip balm, I also picked up a new Bite Beauty Agave lip balm. I have like 20 of these lying around my house, but I always buy new ones because I lose it. Um, this is the most hydrating. Oh, this, this smells so good. This is the most hydrating lip balm I've ever tried in my entire life. It's a little bit pricey. It goes super fast because it is so thick and moisturizing. But like I said, it's probably the best lip balm I've ever tried in my entire life. It's so freaking good. Oh, this is my little deluxe sample from Pretty Vulgar. It's their um, mascara. I want to see what the wand looks like. Oh, the wand kind of looks like the better than sex wand. That's really crazy. And the CoverGirl um, exhibition, ex, I can't say that word, exhibitionist. There we go. Um mascara. I picked up the Urban Decay Brow Blade. This is in the shade Taupe Trap. So this is super freaking expensive. Like when they released it on Trend Mood that they were going to be launching this product, I was like, oh my god. It's probably going to be like 20 bucks like all the other brow products. No, this is like 26 bucks, dude. So what it is, is one side is a waterproof brow pencil, which feels pretty good. And then the other side is like a hair pen, right? So there's the pen. I hope you guys can see that. And then there's the pencil. I am excited to try this. I've heard really good things about it. I feel like maybe I should have got a darker color because my hair is like pink right now, but I didn't. I also picked up, and I'm still waiting on it, the Lime Crime um, Bushy Brow and their Boss Brow. 
and I'm gonna do a video comparing the Urban Decay primer and their new gel and then this compared to the Lime Crime ones because they're basically the same damn thing and I want to see which ones are better so it's a waterproof pencil and an ink stain but still it's freaking expensive for what it is next up I picked up a refill of my Tatcha pure one step cam Camilla cleansing oil. This is my favorite cleansing oil. I think I actually found a cleansing balm that I like better than this cleansing oil and it's from the drugstore and I'm excited to share that with you guys. It's just, what the heck? This is a wonky one. So this is just the cleansing oil. Um, I put it all over my face to take my makeup off and then I use like a makeup wipe to wipe the residue away and then I go in with my toning. I really like this. It's really good. This is the mini size. You can get it for like 19 bucks at Sephora. And I also picked up, and this is massive. This is like almost as big as my face. This is the um, full size Tatcha, the Silk Canvas Primer. I love this. We don't need all this packaging, dude why oh here's the little coin it comes with which i will probably lose because i'm tara i bought the deluxe size forever ago and or got it i might have got it as a perk or something and i love it and i didn't want to buy the full size didn't want to buy the full size but here i am buying the full size but this is massive dude like how much do you get in here you get 20 grams of product in here like that is a lot of product, dude. The packaging is super pretty. Like even the deluxe size is super pretty. You can buy the deluxe size for like 20 bucks off of Sephora, but you're supposed to take this little coin and like the deluxe size does not come with a coin. Only the full size does, which to me makes no sense, but at least make like a mini coin or something. But you're supposed to like scoop the product out and it's supposed to be like more hygienic, but if you think about it, you get your hands all over this. So I don't see how it's more hygienic, but yeah, I kind of wish they had like something in the back to where you could like slip it, you know? Cause like, I don't know, but they don't. And I'm definitely gonna lose that. I do save a lot of Tatcha's packaging though, because it is super cute. So maybe I could just store it like this with the coin in it. I don't know, that's an option too, I guess. But this primer is so good. It definitely fills in my pores like so well. It's so hydrating I could see anybody with uh, dry skin oily skin loving this primer For the last product I picked up the full-size hourglass veil translucent setting powder this and the perfect setting powder like my all-time favorite high-end setting powders so this is also massive this is 10.5 grams of product which is insane and then it has like the little sticker and it has like a mesh thing on it so you don't make a huge freaking mess which I highly appreciate so yeah this is just such a beautiful powder it looks so good on my dry ass skin it looks like I'm airbrushed and yeah I don't know it's so finely milled but not like so finely milled where it looks weird and patchy because sometimes I have that happen with really finely milled powders but this is just so beautiful there isn't a single thing that hourglass makes that I don't like they're just so expensive the only thing I will say about this perfume is I don't feel like it lasts as long as my nest perfumes do but I still think it's a pretty good perfume I'm kind of like was it worth the 60 bucks for it I don't know we'll find out it does seem really heavy and luxurious though and I love the packaging. I don't know why I'm stuck on this perfume. I love perfumes. I love smelling good. The packaging is so nice. Oh my god, you guys, if you could see my floor in front of me. So that is my video. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you like my vibe, don't forget to subscribe. And I really hope to see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys.